This is Steven Rains, and I'll be performing uh, the discrete Fourier transform on two signals. The DFT of a signal, say little x of k, is big X of R equals the summation from k equals 0 to big N minus 1 of little x of k times e to the negative j 2 pi k little r over big n where n is the number of samples in this case for part a is 4 k is the index of the spatial signal and R is the index of the frequency signal. If we expand the summation we get X of R equals one fourth because every sample of this, uh, the original sig signal is one fourth we can pull that scalar out and it'll make the math easier working with ones. So the first term is e to the negative j times 0, where k of the original signal is 0, negating any other aspect of the exponent of the e, plus e to the negative j r pi over 2, plus e to the negative j r pi, plus e to the negative j. 3r pi over 2. Now we just substitute in the r index for each term of the frequency domain signal. Big X of 1 equals 1 fourth. I'm sorry. Big X of 0 is 1 fourth. 1 plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, equals 1. In this case, r is 0, reduces all the exponential terms to 1. After substituting in 1 for r, we can reduce this to a complex form, where uh, the fraction attached to the i minus j in the exponential is uh, effectively the angle of on the unit circle. So the terms will be negative j minus 1 j. And all these terms cancel and become 0. And we repeat the procedure for point uh, for index two and index three, and which results us with the four point DFT of signal A is big X to R of one zero zero zero. And for the second signal, we use the same formula as before, but now there's only three samples, so making our N three and we only have three terms and we expand the summation and the first term index zero happens to be zero and for the first and second indices uh, we can reduce the, the exponentials into complex forms and they reduce to three halves plus j times 3 times uh, radical 3 over 2 and 5 over 2 minus j times radical 3 over 2. But in practicality, uh, the complex part of our frequency domain is ignored, making our DFT for signal B 0, 3 halves, and 5 halves. Thanks for watching.